Fallout New Vegas is an old game. It came out around the same time as TV ads like this, and it's been receiving mods basically since launch thanks to Fallout 3. So obviously, there's a lot. So I figured, why not take a look at them? Nexus has an option to sort mods by random, so we're going to be looking at some of the ones it picked out. Now, it should go without saying, but because some of these mods are old, they're most likely going to be outdated. So it's probably best to let me destroy my game so you don't have to mess up yours. But if you do find some you like, then uh, download them, I guess. It is your game after all. Now, let's start things off with one of the cooler mods I found, called Taylor 2 Wastelands Uniques. This released in 2015 and is a partial port of the weapon enhancement pack for Fallout 3. The Fallout 3 mod includes some really nice textures for weapons, particularly the laser and plasma ones look really good in my opinion, and the textures themselves work mostly fine in New Vegas. However, it also included an optional ESP for unique weapons, providing them with their own set of textures, something that wasn't in vanilla Fallout 3. And um, unfortunately with it being an ESP, it means it doesn't work out the box with Taylor 2 Wastelands, because well, I mean, it's a Fallout 3 mod. But thankfully this mod, as far as I can tell, ports over the changes and makes it work with Tier 2 Wastelands. But um, this mod came out in 2015, and that version of TTW is vastly different from the current 3.3. So I wanted to check it out and see if it'd work, and well, yeah, it worked. You can now go and defeat some Deathclaws with Colonel Autumn's engraved laser pistol, and the Wazer Waifu has a smiley face now. So for that one poor soul asking in the comments of an any decade old mod if this is compatible with TTW 3.3, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm recording this after the fact, the video went out live to members, and Brad pointed out to me that, well, I mean, the mod uses an ESP. Which obviously isn't the most, um, compatibility friendly way, so it would be much better if there was a script based alternative, and apparently the ESP does have some issues, although I haven't looked into this myself. Or maybe make a script based alternative, with permission of course if you are going to upload it anywhere. I know I said the last mod was cool, but this one just tops it. It replaces Yes Man with Lane. You know, from Serial Experiments Lane. That's the whole mod. It doesn't replace the Securitron version, but after dealing with House, we can upload Yes Man to the Wired and see Lane. She was a little bright in my game, but I'm pretty sure this is to do with my MVR setup. The mod page shows what this is meant to look like, and uh, yeah. I also checked to see the comments if there was anything interesting, and there was this one saying, a shame, you seem like an honest man. And I wondered if there was some sort of hidden drama about this mod for about 10 seconds, until I realized those were just the words from the lane opening. Yeah, this mod is kinda recent, releasing in 2023, so if you wanna replace Yes Man with an angry lane, um, go for it, I guess. Next up, we have a creeper grenade retexture. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't realise this was a retexture for another mod, I just saw the words creeper in the thumbnail of a naked courier holding a creeper with a fat man explosion in the distance, and my inner 10 year old was unleashed. This retexture released in 2014, three years after the original creeper grenade mod, and to give you an idea of how old the OG mod is, the description for it looks like this. You can find them in a chest near Good Springs. I mean, it's pretty easy to miss. It doesn't really stand out all too much, so here's the exact location on the map. It was at this point I realised you could actually knock over these massive creepers, but unfortunately they didn't move all too much from the grenade explosion. Sadly, it seems that enemies don't get launched in the air like I was hoping but I'd be lying if I said I didn't have way more fun than I was expecting throwing enemies from Minecraft at NCR soldiers. One Nexus user commented saying this mod was life changing and I'm gonna have to agree. Quest mods are always pretty interesting to look at and that's what I got next. This one kind of surprised me as it's by the same person who made those NCR Ranger textures, so I was pretty excited to try out a case of Devil's Gold. We can start it by heading to Bonnie Springs and find that we can now go inside that old saloon at the end of the town. Inside we'll find a couple of vipers alongside a bunker door which we can jump down and the quest will start there, which tasks us with finding a key to the briefcase. 
I looked around a bit to see if there was any in the immediate area, but I couldn't find it and ended up making my way back out into the Mojave by accident. Heading back inside, the cell door, which I never decided to check if it was openable or not, is, well, I mean, openable, and it led to this laser grid. And this is where I got stuck. Approaching the grid removes your controls and plays this noise, so I figured I probably needed the key to get in there. But after looking around a bit more and still not finding the key, although I did find a Star Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle cap, I gave up and ended up checking the Nexus comments. Turns out you can actually get past the laser grid and you're not meant to have the key at this point, you just need to hold W and it will spit you out to the other side. And trying that, well, it worked. Entering the interior of the bunker will update our quest log telling us to restart the generators. So I did that and on my way back up I got jump scared by some sentry bots. One of them was highly intelligent using its friend's dead body to block my bullets and fats, but I think we came to a mutual understanding in the end and I even made a new friend. In the main lobby we passed through to get to the maintenance room, there's a robo brain and killing it made me come to the revelation that I really don't think there's that many of them in New Vegas. That talk anyways. Oh, and also the kill cam just kind of sucks ass. It, I mean, it takes way too long. One of the previously locked rooms was now opened thanks to us turning on the generators and going in there made me just sort of stop and take in the view. The rows of monitors on the wall accompanied by the desks sort of just looked, well, really good. Heading upstairs, we can find the terminal we're meant to interact with and that gives us a new quest telling us to find Tank. But we've still got to find this key before we do that, and a secret passageway to a fallout shelter has just opened up downstairs. In the back of a room, we can find a safe which has the key we're looking for. And then by going all the way back to the suitcase, we can pick up a brand new weapon. The airline sights were animated, which I don't think I've seen on a weapon mod prior to playing with this one. And uh, yeah, now all that's left to do is find Tank, whatever that is. So imagine my disappointment when I found out it turns out to just be an advert for an upcoming quest mod. In total, this experience took me around 10 to 15 minutes. The environments were definitely the best part about this mod. And I'm not going to mention the new weapons animations. I mean, this did come out back in 2011, and unless they had a time machine, this is probably the best they could have done given New Vegas' animation groups. Now about Tank. In the description for A Case of Devil's Gold, it says that it sort of acts as a prelude to a bigger mod, which, if you couldn't guess, is Tank. But as far as I can tell, it never ended up coming to be. Apparently the mod author's system got corrupted and they lost all their stuff, which really sucks. But um, yeah, that's going to be all for today. I hope you enjoyed, if I'm being honest, just covering recent mods hasn't really been doing it for me. But I mean, I enjoyed doing this, and if there's any other sort of content you guys want to see, be sure to let me know. Huge thank you to the channel members, and if you want to become one, there's a link in the description for it. Anyways, um, yeah, subscribe.